Welcome to today's math lesson on identifying a corresponding real world problem when given an inequality with a variable on each side. Our do now is a square and a right triangle were used to form the following figure. What is the area of the unshaded region of this figure in square centimeters? So we're going to first start off with writing out the formulas for each of the shapes. So we have a triangle. And the area formula for a triangle is half times base times height. And then our second shape is going to be a square. And our area formula for a square is side squared or side to the power of 2. So then we're going to solve for the area of the triangle. So we have half times the base of the triangle is going to be 5 plus 8 because as you can see, one of the side lengths of the square is embedded within the triangle or makes up part of the base of the triangle. So 5 plus 8 is 13. And then we have to multiply it by the height, which is 9. So then when we do half times 13 times 9, we get... 58.5 and our unit of measurement in this problem is centimeters so it's going to be centimeters squared then for the area of the square we're going to multiply 5 times 5 or do 5 squared which is 25 centimeters squared. And now we can find the area of the unshaded part. So we're going to subtract the 58.5 since that's the area of the triangle by the 25 since that's the area of the square that's embedded within the triangle and we get 33.5 centimeters squared and that is our answer. Today's TEK is 8.8b. Our lesson target is I will write a corresponding real world problem when given a one variable inequality with variables on both sides of the equal sign using rational number coefficients and constants. Our DOL is given two questions. We'll answer it with 100% accuracy. So in 3x plus 2 is greater than x plus 10, our coefficients are 3 and one. Even though we don't see the one, we know that in front of every variable there is a one if there's not another number. Our coefficients are considered our variable cost. Another word for them is a unit rate or slope. Variable meaning to change. Then our constant for this inequality is two and ten, and that is going to be our fixed cost. For this first I do, it says which situation can be represented by this equation? We have 2x plus 4 is greater than 8 over 3x. So the first thing I'm going to do is identify what my coefficient is. So in this case, it's 2 and 8 over 3. So that's going to be my rates of change. So the keywords are per, each, every. So in this first answer choice A, it says JL skateboards at a rate of 4 miles per hour. So it's saying that if we were to write an equation for the situation. Our equation would be 4x and has already skated 2 miles. And it's saying that our constant would be 2. So we have 4x plus 2, which is not the same thing as the 2x plus 4, so it's not answer choice A. Then for B, it says JL skateboards at a rate of 4 miles per hour. So again, it's saying that the coefficient is 4 and has already skated 2 miles. So that is not going to be B. Then we have JL skateboards at a rate of two miles per hour. Okay, so our coefficient or our slope is two, so we have two X and has already skated four miles, two X plus four. 
Then it says Marco spikes at a rate of 8 over 3 miles per hour. So 8 over 3 is also going to be our coefficient, x, x representing the number of hours. So it says what is x in time in hours at JL, which is represented by 2x plus 4, will have traveled a greater distance. So that's a greater than symbol. And as you can see, the two equations match up. So our answer choice is C. And just to make sure that our answer choice is not D, we're going to go ahead and write an equation for it. So it says JL skateboards at a rate of 2 miles per hour. So that's 2x and has already skated 4 miles, so plus 4. Then it says Marcos bikes at a rate of 8 thirds miles per hour. So 8 over 3. X. What is X, the time in hours that Marcos will have traveled a greater distance. For Marcos to tra have traveled a greater distance, 2x plus 4 actually has to be less than the 8 over 3x. Or if we were to flip it around, we could have Marcos's equation first. 8 over 3x is greater than 2x plus 4. So that is why answer choice D is not correct because the inequality symbol is wrong. For this next IG problem, we have to figure out which situation can be represented by this equation. 2x plus 384 is less than 6x. So looking at our equation, we can identify that the coefficients or the slopes are 2 and 6. And then the constant is going to be 384. So going through the answer choices, answer choice A says Brianna has $384 saved. So our constant is 384, but spends $2 every day. Because she spends $2 every day, we're actually going to subtract 2x. And so as you can see, 384 minus 2x is not the same thing as 2x plus 384. Then for answer choice B, we have Brianna has $384 saved, but spends $2 every day. So that's the same situation as answer choice A, so it's not B. Then for C, it says Brianna has $384 saved, so we're starting with 384 but saves $2 every day. So then we're going to add the 2x. And then it says Bria saves $6 every day. So then we have 6x. The question is, what is x the number of days that Brianna, so the 384 plus 2x has less money than Bria. And as you can see, 384 plus 2x is the same thing as 2x plus 384 is less than 6x. So our answer choice is C. Just to make sure, Brianna has $384 saved and saves $2 every day. So that's 384 plus 2x. Bria saves $6 every day. So that's 6x. Then it asks, what is X the number of days that Brianna has more money than Bria? So that should be greater than. So the reason that D is not correct is because the inequality symbol is not correct. After completing the we do's as well as you do's, you have your two question DOL. Thank you so much for following along in today's lesson and see you in the next math video. Bye.